Jeremy as Cook here. And today I'm going to be showing off how I made a light for my milling machine using a ring light from a DSLR. As shown here, there's a decent amount of light in my shop, but there's not a ton of light on the vise for the milling machine itself. That's why I designed this ring light to, to put on there, or rather recycled something from a DSLR. With that on there, there's a ton of light on it. There is, however, a fundamental problem with this design that I'll reveal a little bit later in the video. If you do figure it out, be sure to leave me a comment in the video to let me know what you thought it was. Either way, I thought it was a fun build process, so follow along to see how I made it. First, I took all the batteries out of the driver unit. Four double A's, so assume that's going to be six volts DC if they're wired in series. Clipped the wire and then took stripped that back to reveal one positive and two negative wires that could be hooked up. Went ahead and took apart the driver to make sure, you know, see if I could analyze the circuit and see what was going on, see what kind of power I needed to put to both of them. Looked at it for a little bit and then pretty much just hooked it up to my power supply at six volts. Not like I paid anything more for this ring light. I mean, I paid for it a long time ago, but it wasn't in use anyway, so figured why, why not. Put six volts to the positive and link both negatives to the negative and you can power both sides. And there goes the little driver piece. Now the problem here is it didn't, didn't quite fit on my spindle. Got out my Dremel tool and went, went, to, went to work seeing if I could open up the middle. Unfortunately, this didn't work quite as well as I'd hoped, but I did have another, another option my, up my sleeve. Decided to hook it up to my miniature lathe. Taped the, taped the wire back and then took a cutting tool and started just taking out material. It's certainly a bit of an unconventional use for a lathe, but it was successful taking some material out and just, just driving into it with that cutting tool. Had to tape the, tape the wires down a little bit more. But after that, I was able to take out even more and then did some debris and debris later. With this done, the inner diameter was just, just small enough or just large enough to slip over the spindle on my milling machine. Took that off the jaws and then started deburring. Looks pretty good after that. And it did slip right on. Well, almost. The digital readout for the Z axis had a little holder on it. So I needed to take that out and then, yeah, just take that out so it could slip on. Looks good there. And the next step was to put some magnets on it. So it would just hold it, hold itself down. I used some hot glue here, which was one of the problems with the build, but maybe not as fundamental as the other problem, which will be revealed. So wiring that all up to a six volt or a connector that goes to a six volt DC power supply. Looking good there and lights up nicely. Looking around, you can see the vice is lit up very, very nicely. Turn that off and it just doesn't, doesn't shine nearly, nearly as much. One other problem with this, or you might say yet another problem, was that the, the wiring would just hang down if it wasn't held up somehow. This was a pretty easy fix though. I made a magnetic fixture that would just hold it to the top of the, uh, or the bottom of the milling machine. Had some holes for magnets and then there, I'm just previewing it on Cura. Looks pretty good there. And then what do you know, actually printed out looks just about the same as it did on the preview. A little deburring later, a little CNA glue, and a couple of disc magnets. This worked really well. And, and even though it does have CNA glue, really the magnets are just holding it, hold, holding it together. So holds it holds the wiring out of the way and you can, you can push the spindle down as you need to without any sort of wiring issues. There's the vice there. I'm just cleaning it up a little bit. It has a nice view of that. And you can see kind of maybe another hint as to what the issue is. So the problem is that when you push it down, it casts a real shadow from this ring light. So you've got a lot of kind of a halo of a huge amount of light and then a just kind of like a void in the middle, which is what you really want to look at. So obviously this is not the optimum solution for capturing stuff that you're milling. Maybe I'll modify this to do something a little bit different later, but for now, I thought it was an interesting experiment. Here's some footage of me modifying the DRO holder, digital readout holder that I, I took off earlier. You can see there's a bit of shadow under it, even though it does, it does provide some light around it at least. Kind of need to modify a machine with the machine you're using. It's kind of an interesting concept. 
Another thing I, I noted a little bit earlier is that I used hot glue on the magnets originally. Now the problem with this is when you put the lights on for too long, it just heats it up and the hot glue melts. I took this off with a file, filed the magnets too, and then replaced it with CNA glue or super glue. And that that's held pretty well, even though I haven't actually turned it on that much afterwards. So yeah, I, I thought it was a cool, cool project. You know, it's, it's something that I wasn't using it anyway, so it's kind of a nothing ventured, get nothing gained type situation, but maybe, uh, maybe you learned something from my experiments here. If you do want to see some stuff that works, I've made lots of stuff on my channel, so I'd definitely invite you to, to poke around, see what you see, and, you know, maybe even something on the end screen that, you know, pops up to your interest. So, thanks so much for watching. This is Jeremy S. Cook, signing off. So after this video was, was pretty much done, I had the idea that I could just put the light to the side and just have it shine from the side and not exactly what I had in mind to begin with, but the results are actually pretty good. And I'll show that in just a second. Turn it on there and you can see, yeah, looks looks pretty, pretty bright. Even when you push it down, you can see a shadow on the other side, but if you're filming from the back side, shouldn't be too much of a detri detriment. Here I'm milling some MDF with a half inch mill. Looks pretty good. You can see it's sucking some of those chips out with that with the shop vac, or the rigid vac, I should say. And then here's a close up of it in slow motion. So thanks for watching. Maybe it wasn't such a failure after all. If you like to do, do poke around on my channel. Thanks again for watching.